All right, I guess I'll get started. Uh, so hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today to learn about how to connect with alumni on the Indian Network. Uh, so my name is Toby Woodward. I'm the Alumni Career Development Coordinator at the Alumni Association. Um, I'm actually a recent grad from UCI. I graduated this past year in 2019. Um, and while I was a student, I actually helped launch the Indian Network um, in my senior year. Um, we also have uh, my coworker, Kat, on the call. She's the Young Alumni Engagement Manager and she was the project lead on the end Eater network while it was launching um, before she uh, handed it off to me after I graduated. Um, so she'll be watching the Q&A. Um, if you have any questions at any time, you could go ahead and submit them through there and then she'll um, ask them of me. Um, I'll also try and leave some time at the end for um, more Q&A um, if you like. Um, I also wanna mention this is getting uh, recorded so we could post it online for you guys to uh, watch later. Um, so you guys have probably heard before that networking is pretty important, but you might not know that it's probably the best way that you could um, search for jobs. Um, somewhere between 70 and 80% of jobs uh, never actually get posted online and get filled through uh, networking and personal connections that employers have. Um, so it's really important for you to go out and make connections uh, with people in your industry. Um, alumni are definitely a great place to start because um, even if they're complete strangers and you have no uh, connection to them um, through like mutual connections, um, you still have that anteater bond between you two. Um, that's an easy way to just introduce yourself. Um, I know I personally am much more inclined to talk to people on like LinkedIn and stuff that reach out to me if they're also UCI alumni or students um, than if they were just um, any other random uh, person. Um, so, yeah, so the Anteater Network and LinkedIn are probably the best places you could go to to connect with alumni, um, find people in your industries that you want to uh, talk to, um, especially right now when everything uh, that you could do is only really digital. Um, so uh, they're both pretty similar. Um, they're both uh, like big communities of professionals uh, that you can network with. Um, but and that's a little bit different in that it's specific to UCI. It's a UCI only community. Um, and everyone who's on the Anteater Network has joined specifically because they want to uh, give back by helping out students and uh, other alumni like yourselves. Um, so that means you're going to have a much higher response rate than you would on LinkedIn, for example. Um, a lot of people just use LinkedIn as a self promotion tool. And they're doing their own networking stuff and might not necessarily uh, want to reach out or connect with other people. Um, uh, the Indian Network also has a bunch of tools in it to guide you along as you reach out to uh, alumni if you're, if you're new to networking and don't have that much experience with it. Uh, so I'll go ahead, I'm going to share my screen with you all so you could see what it looks like. Um, so once you've completed sign up, it'll just take you through uh, a couple questions to help you get your profile set up, figure out what you're looking for in a career, um, and then uh, it'll take you to here. Uh, and this is what your homepage looks like. Uh, so up at the top, you can see it's giving you personalized recommendations of alumni to connect with. Um, they're based off of your personal preferences um, that you selected when you're completing the sign up process. Um, you could also always update it by uh, clicking this matching quiz here and changing your answers there. Um, it has some quick information on these alumni. Uh, it'll have their job title, what year they graduated, and uh, where they're located. Um, and then as you scroll down, uh, you'll have these different modules to help you keep track of your connections. Um, it'll nudge you along, um, give you tips when you should reach out to people and stuff like that. Um, if you're not really interested in connecting with any of these or you want to find more alumni to reach out to, there's this Explore the Community tab uh, where you could search for um, other people. Um, so this is really useful um, and this is kind of where it gets a little different than LinkedIn. Um, so LinkedIn search filters are all kind of just based on the person's profile, but here um, a lot of it's really specific to your UCI experience, um, or it's also there to uh, tell you how the alumni could help you out. Um, so you can see right here, uh, for example, we have different help topics like uh, choosing a major, uh, finding, finding an internship, resume critique, stuff like that. 
which is really helpful. Um, and then over here in more filters, we have uh, student clubs. Um, we have pretty much all 600 or so student clubs. So that's a great way to uh, find a mutual connection between you and an alum when you go to reach out. Um, we also have these affinities. So like, for example, if you're a first-gen student um, and you wanna talk to someone who also had that same experience, you could um, select that uh, to help you find them. And then there's a ton of other filters that are really useful. Um, that you would also see probably on LinkedIn, like uh, their, their current company. Uh, you could also look at what degree type they got. So if you're interested in pursuing uh, graduate school, uh, you could search for that. Um, and there's other um, uh, personal information that you could search for on there. Um, you could also just search keywords. It'll pull up um, information from people's profile. Um, so if none of these filters are really working for that, you could search there. Um, some other neat things that are really useful are this uh, set search alerts. Um, so the internet network grows pretty quickly. We have almost 7,000 users already and we get another like 30 to 40 every single week. Um, so if you don't want to keep coming on and doing the same searches over and over again, you can set up a search alert um, and it'll give you, um, you could determine the frequency, but like say you want a weekly update of new alumni who have joined the, uh, the internet network that uh, meets certain criteria, you could uh, get that set up. So that's, that's really useful. Um, another neat thing is there's also this map view uh, where you could go on and just see kind of everyone who's uh, on the platform. I'll let it load for a second. Um, but one that's just really neat to see, you can see there's alumni all over the world um, who have signed up uh, to help each other out on here. Um, they're on every single continent except for Antarctica. Um, and then also maybe if you're um, planning on moving to a different city or a different region, you could go on here and find alumni who live in that area to connect with. Um, so when you find someone you wanna connect with, I'm just gonna pull up Kat's profile to show you. Um, you can uh, see a bunch more information about um, each person. Uh, so up at the top, it'll give you things you have in common with that person, which are, uh, it's really useful when you're starting to reach out to them, um, knowing what you have in common. So you could see uh, Kat and I both went to UCI um, and we both have an interest in higher education. Um, you could see their work experience, their educational background. Um, you could see, um, it will show you their help topics over here, how they're willing to help you out. Um, as well as their industry experience over here. Um, and just more information on the profiles. It'll also show you uh, similar alumni uh, to this one, so you could find even more people to reach out to. Um, and then once you wanna connect with someone, uh, you just click this message button um, and it'll take you to uh, this page. I'll give it a second. Uh, yeah, so you'll see over here on the left, it just has their profile information. So you could reference that as you're writing your message. Um, if you don't really know where to start when writing a message, we have these three different smart templates that are pretty useful. They'll actually pull information from the user's profile and your profile as well um, to help you get started. I do recommend you edit these messages. Uh, sometimes the information that pulls from the profiles don't really fit in grammatically. Um, like you can see here, it pulled in Kat's headline um, and it doesn't really fit right there. Um, so you don't want to edit that. Or like here, it lists all the industry she has expertise in and that kind of fits in kind of awkwardly. Um, and it also makes you uh, much more likely to hear back from them um, if you're editing this and you're changing it around rather than just sending out the default template message. Um, I highly recommend you um, you add some uh, personal details in here, um, like talk about a little bit about yourself, why you're uh, connecting with them, what about them uh, interests you and what you have in common. Um, and then I would throw in a specific ask. So like I would ask for a specific uh, meeting time and that makes it really easy for them to know how to respond. Uh, there's also, I also recommend you use this request a meeting thing over here. Um, so alumni could actually sync their calendar here 
and uh, you could select times that they've actually said they're available, um, which just makes it that much easier. Uh, we have a built-in video call and a built-in phone conferencing feature, so you could use those rather than sharing personal information um, if you don't want to. Um, so yeah, um, I would recommend doing that. Um, you'll also see you get uh, feedback down here as you're writing your message. Um, it'll give you some tips and tricks um, to help you craft a really good uh, message and make a great first impression. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'll send this. Um, and then, uh, so then the alarm will get this message from you in their inbox on the Anita network, and they'll also get an email notification uh, that has the content of your message in it, and they could actually respond directly uh, to your message um, to that email, and it'll send through here. Um, and the same will go for you. You'll get an email notification when they respond, um, and you could respond through just through email if you want, um, so you don't have to log back on every single time. Um, this is what it'll look like. Uh, you can see here's the message I sent her. Um, you could schedule meetings over here. You could also um, keep track of goals as you, uh, you know, develop your relationship with this person over here. You could write your own private notes um, to keep track of everything. Uh, and you could share files like your resume as well. Um, I also highly recommend that you uh, change your preferences and enable SMS notifications uh, just in case the email notifications go to spam or anything like that. That way you don't miss any notifications. Uh, we won't send you any uh, text messages for anything else other than uh, new meeting requests or uh, new messages that you get um, from other alumni. Um, yeah, um, so then once you hear back, um, which most of the time you will, um, you'll uh, want to just set up a meeting with them. Uh, some tips for prepping for that would be to uh, research their, their company, get an idea kind of of what they do um, beforehand uh, so you're really prepared for it, and uh, come up with a list of questions you want to ask them beforehand um, so you don't run out of uh, things to talk about uh, while you're meeting with them. And then afterwards, I would recommend you uh, send a thank you message as a quick follow up um, just to show your appreciation um, and then set up follow up conversations after that. Um, the best thing you could do is to just keep building those relationships uh, with those alumni um, and growing them and they'll be able to help you out down the line. So yeah, uh, that's about it. Um, there's a lot of other things on the Indian internet network you could use um, that are pretty useful. Uh, there's different groups um, over here for specific industries, specific identities um, that you could talk to alumni about. There's also a, a job board where alumni will share some opportunities that they know about. Um, you could also just post discussion questions to uh, the entire community um, and get quick feedback that way. So yeah, uh, and that's the end eater network. It's here. Um, one of the things I was kind of sharing um, on my side was just that I did get an SMS notification once I got that message from Toby. So it works. Yeah. Um, just wanted to show that too. So. Nice. All right. Uh, a bit one more minute in case anyone has any other questions. Um, but if not, Okay, uh, how does the connections work? Um, what, do you, what do you mean exactly by that? Oh. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Um, so I would recommend not straight up asking that um, off the bat. Um, I would recommend getting to know them first a little bit. Um, if you are, trying to do and trying to search for jobs at their company, I would say that you're interested in um, booking um, and working at their company. So you want to hear a little bit more about what it's like working there. Um, and then I would meet with them and talk about that for a while. Um, and if it goes really well, um, then yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so you wouldn't want to ask that 
off the bat. Um, if they do like you and they think you're a, a good fit, they'll let you know and they'll, they'll share opportunities with you um, after, after you've met them. Yeah, it's really more of an opportunity for you to network virtually with people um, that might have some common interests with you. So yeah, that, that's why. And even, even when you're messaging the person, I mean, really the platform gives you an opportunity to network with people that you might not necessarily be able to otherwise. So, um, you know, the platform will even tell you like, hey, don't ask for a job right away. Just maybe say, hey, I was wondering if you could give me some advice on you know, whatever it is you might be interested in, or maybe even that, hey, I noticed that you were in Tomo when you were in school, and I'm in Tomo, and I'm wondering if you want to appear, you know, at one of our events or something like that. Like, it, it, it's just a great way to connect. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're very welcome. So yeah, uh, I'll give it. Uh, if any of you have any more questions, happy to answer them. Um, me and, and Kat are always available to help out um, fellow alumni. Um, so you could find our uh, email or uh, office phone number on the Alumni Association website. There's a, a staff directory down at the bottom. So uh, thank you all for joining us and I hope you have a great rest of your day.